everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently watched Spongebob, uh, Sponge Out of Water, and this is the second Spongebob film. Well, I, I, I don't count Atlantis Squarepantis because, honestly, uh, <laughs> personally, I think it was a ripoff of Yellow Submarine. Um, <clears throat> and I've seen a lot of bad films in my time. Eh, it's, it's up there. It's not the worst, but it's up there. And what happens is, of course, Plankton's up to his old trickery and all of his um, <clears throat> scams and schemes and shenanigans. Um, and the original Krabby Patty formula just dis disappears and they don't understand why. So they're out on a quest to figure out the purpose or why it just kind of ceased to exist. And then they realize that some nefarious being <laughs> I'm not gonna say who it is but there is treachery afoot and then we get to see Plankton as a character that we have never uh, witnessed before and I like to see <laughs> the characters when they were on land and that part was funny I know how they have it on the um the trailer, it seems like most of the movie is them above water. It really isn't. It's the tail end, like a fourth of the film. <laughs> but as as far as movies are concerned, it's probably one of the best Spongebob movies. I've, the Spongebob movie is my favorite. But this has to be up there, too. It's just it's absolutely hysterical. And I love the humor in it. And um, one of my favorite puns was, uh, Hey... He's an enemy. <laughs> I'm Plankton. Is he an enemy or Plankton? Ha 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 Ocean humor. But I absolutely love that. Uh, puns like that that make you think and that are clever and witty like that. I love. <laughs> and Miss Puff was, she played a rim shot and I loved that. And it just kind of ran, it was a lot of randomness like a, a lot of cartoon movies are, but that's why I enjoy them. I mean, it's just for the pure enjoyment of it, and this, the colors pop, and <coughs> when they're above land, uh, what happens is really good. And Tim Curry, I think, was a a guest voice as a, a character, and I loved the character that he made. I thought, oh, of course he would, and that there's a funny incident with him. I'm not going to say what it is, but... <laughs> I'm <laughs> still laughing about it. It's difficult to have a movie like this that actually makes me laugh throughout. Even though I know what to expect. And I grew up watching Spongebob and I uh, adore it. And I'm a lot like Spongebob myself. I mean, I'm, I'm not vapid and ignorant and uh, <laughs> moron. I'm kind of a combination of... Uh, Squidward and Sandy and Spongebob. I don't think there's any Mr. Krabs in me. I, I'm not what you would consider a greedy sort of being at all. I just, money's transitory and yeah, it pays my amenities and, and keeps me in my home and keeps clothes on my body and keeps me fed and um, keeps my animals healthy. But beyond that, I just... <laughs> It's really trifling and kind of a pain and a little bit of a headache. <laughs> but uh, it's our only mode of commerce right now, so I guess we're stuck with it. But I like the whole time machine thing. Spoiler, sorry. It, it was uh, how they built it was really clever and innovative. And I thought, ah, I doubt that would work in real life, but kind of makes you wonder. And it was good hearing all those familiar voices that I've loved hearing ever since. Uh, I think SpongeBob came out when I was in college, well, before I, I actually started going to college. But <laughs> I fell in love with it. I, I was a big fan before it became, uh, it's like I become a fan of things that become huge, like Orphan Black. I'm like, what was Orphan Black? And everybody is a fan of Orphan Black. Like, Hmm, I must be onto the pulse of society or something. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's very interesting. 
But anyways, I I love the animation. I even like the CG. I thought that was very well executed. It's very beautiful to look at of uh, the the three dimensional aspect. And I know they did it for. Um, theaters that had the capacity for it and it would have been a, a just a delightful film to, to have seen and just the whole um spectacle of that and <laughs> but it was it was pretty to look at too so it's eye candy and ear candy and uh just really enjoyable and, and the dance at the end with pearl that's the only time we actually get to see pearl and she said this dance is so last year <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking that this that dance was maybe a, a couple decades ago, but anyways, uh, we don't line dance anymore, do we? No, 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 unless you're on a cruise and you're doing the Congo or yeah, limbo. It's the only thing I can think of, unless you're doing electric slide. But yeah, a watermelon crawl. That's the, those are the only few I can actually think of. But you you're in a group, but those are fun. I I like those, even though watermelon crawl in and of itself, I I'm not really into country western, but I'll, I'll give Watermelon Crawl a pass. That and Cotton Eye Joe. I guess it's a slight redneck in me, but those two are fun. Um, <laughs> uh, I just, I thought it was a great film and I relived my childhood and I've never really grown up. So <laughs> there's part of me that I will always be an eternal child. But that's basically all I have to say. So until next time, live long prosper. Ciao, Susie. Happy New Year. See you, my magicians. <laughs>